surprise it with a tale about a jester. That it starts like this. There was a court jester. <laughs> in the court of a baron. And he was a juggler by trade. And he was a very good juggler. And one day, the baron's daughter, who was of marriageable age, returned from being fostered. And the jester took one look at the baron's daughter and, and knew that he needed to marry her. But he wasn't a nobleman, he wasn't a knight. He had no money. He was a juggler. But although he was the fool, he was no fool. And he had a plan. In his spare time, he would go down to the Baron's stables. And there the baronial stabler was engaged by the jester to teach him to ride in the most noble of fashions. He said to the stabler, I can teach you in return how to juggle. Now juggling, juggling is a better trade than stabling. It pays better. The tips are better. <laughs> Women love jugglers. <laughs> and I have it on good authority, trust me, that the Baron is going to be looking for new jugglers soon. <laughs> when the stabler pronounced that there was no one in all of the kingdom who could ride in a more noble fashion than this juggler, the fool set off on a juggler's errand. He went to a neighboring barony and talking to people, he found when the, the neighboring baron was going to be in the woods hunting with his retainers. And he hid in the woods with a pouch with three wooden juggling balls. And when the baron rode by, the juggler reached into the pouch and he took out one of his balls and he threw it, hitting the baron in the head, knocking him <laughs> off the horse. And he, quickly grabbed the Baron's clothing and armor as much as he could in that time, and helmet, and he jumped onto the horse, and he rode nobly at the head of all the retainers back to the manor. And again, he was no fool. He was very charismatic. He could entertain people with his great two-ball juggling tricks. <laughs> and so, in no time, he had everyone convinced, and indeed, he was the Baron. No one missed the old Baron. <laughs> it now. <laughs> and then it was time for the second part of his grand plan. While he was entertaining everyone with his two ball juggling, he was regaling the knights and the barony with tales of the evil barony just beyond their own lands, where that baron and his knights would come, they would take their lands, they would take their wives, their daughters, their farm animals, their sons. <laughs> well, this couldn't stand. He very easily convinced the knights that a grand crusade against the neighboring barony was called for. So all the knights of his new barony set out to war with the juggler at the head of the line. And he very quickly realized that the trade that he had learned was riding nobly. And the trade that he already had was juggling. And nowhere in there did he have anything like swinging a sword, <laughs> holding a field. And one of the knights of his old barony was bearing down on him on a horse with a lance. So he reached into his pouch and he grabbed a juggling ball, hit the knight in the head, knocked him from the horse. And then for the remainder of the battle, he rode at the back of the line, giving orders, very, very wise orders. Until in the end, he found himself face to face with his old baron, the man he used to juggle for, the man with the daughter that he loved. And he pulled the last juggling ball out, knocked the baron off his horse. The baron was overrun. Well, the juggler was now a baron of two baronies, a wealthy man. And he was able, in very short order, to marry the woman that he had fallen in love with. 
And this simply goes to show that anything is possible. Yes, if you have balls. And it's even easier.